Episode 1 had me worried about this show because maybe I went in with the wrong expectation. Maybe this is not the show that I was expecting again and it's just chill, just casual, mushroom farming, doing nothing else. Home decorations. Then episode 2 happens. I'm like, okay, the storytelling is way better now. As we get the perspectives of other classmates, what they're doing, the otaku club, you know, they're like standing on business kind of everyone else is just like slackers and leeching off of us the gal group is a roller coaster of emotions but so far it's pretty fun and it looks like we're actually getting involved with the people of this world as the otaku club they're just like going into the village to join like a guild it's gonna be interesting to see what happens and right now we've subjugated three gals it's kind of fucked up they have like no emotions in their eyes and we're basically treating them as slaves but it is what it is let's begin today's reaction <laughs> I don't know how I feel about class prez just yet. She's a bit weak hearted and a bad leader. It does seem very intentional that our main character does not remember anyone's names. Like, this is repeated theme over and over. He just don't care, don't remember. Alright, these are the normie girls, not the gals, normie girls. クラスの女の子たち。I subjugated them. What do you want me to say? Life with the girls is today's episode title. I don't get that part, right? I thought it's only supposed to work on monsters. But the gals are recognized as monsters? Are we gonna subjugate all of them? <laughs> no, it's just your imagination. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Yo, these girls won't leave us alone. What's with all these judgmental stares, man? They're just like, what did you do? I'm gonna leave now. She's just nodding. Oh, she's back. The class rep sucks, bro. I hate the class rep. <laughs> I don't care, bro. She's a shitty leader, and she will not give us the benefit of the doubt. She sucks. What? I hate their overall attitude. Yeah, she nags a lot. Like he's about to flex in the ladies, bro. Are you about to? Are, 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 are we probably gonna make a house? And then the girls are probably gonna live in there, bro. What? How did that even happen? That was kind of cute. Shimazaki-san,って。Looks like we're getting away with, you know, making those girls our slaves. Somehow it worked out. Help you with what? Help yourselves. These girls are actually roller coasters. It's not even just the gals. Like the other normie girls too. Just like shitting on us, shitting on us. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, you're gonna leave us? Don't fucking leave us. Just Jesus Christ, leave us alone. I built one. I would immediately run away. I don't want to do anything with these girls. These girls are a liability. They're annoying. They are just a roller coaster of emotions. Get the fuck out. None. You're not invited. I would just say that. They're literally gonna just fucking leech and mooch off of our house now. We had a nice little cave to us. It was so cozy and nice. Now it's gonna get ruined. Bruh. Go away. 
Is this my I'm fault that I go. built a house? <laughs> Even though I've been nothing but just like in your face and rude and so just aggressive, I'm gonna go, oh, listen, oh, you know, can, can me and the ladies just fucking leech in your mansion? Ugh. Ugh. Bruh, no. Deport they asses. Get the fuck out. Evicted, bro. No. We, we could build them a doghouse. Yeah, let's subjugate them all and just build a fucking doghouse and they can live out there. Ugh. I guess he's too horny, right? He, he is too down bad. He's not really upset. Yeah, it, it makes sense that a kid would just do that. You're shameless too. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's just a road! Chill out! Damn, the front gate! Look at that! It's got pillars and shit! Damn, look at the furniture. Ugh. I honestly would be pissed off, bro. I just like imagine building your nice little cozy place and then a bunch of just like girls show up and just ruin it. Look, I'm not even trying to be an insult right now. They're just annoying. They suck. I don't want them around. The bath? Are we about to get like a hot spring bath housing? Oh, the animation going crazy. <laughs> they all conveniently left their top on. No, 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 they're not in the bath yet. Okay. So it's like a small bathtub. I thought it might be like a huge ass bathhouse. <laughs> Big enough to fit them all. Dude, they all crammed in there. Bro, swimming. <laughs> We're out of the mansion? He literally didn't want to deal with any of them. So instead of kicking them out, he's like, all right, I guess you guys can live here. I'm, I'm going to go outside now. I'm going to sleep in my tent. Goodbye. You're welcome. They can eat all the fucking mushrooms for all I care. Yeah, at least she's self-aware, huh? She's useless. Maybe I'm being a little bit too mean on her. Yeah, it's like it's as if their entire otaku life has been like preparation for this one isekai moment. Yeah, they're built different. But the girls here, they're two normies, man. They have no clue how to survive out here. It's not their fault. We're not in the bad way. Born for this, man. I am the apex weirdo. You think they're dweebs? You have no clue. I'm on a different power scale. Bye bye. God, it's tripped down. <laughs> Sorry though. Okay. The gal A. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't blame him at all. That's cool kid being in this situation. Of course they'd be down, but I'm surprised that he has this much like reserve. You make it? 
Better not be mushroom. Who is she? She's crawling on all fours. She's uh, very straightforward, huh? Me? But we have fish, though. Is she the one that always wanted fish? Finally, some real goddamn protein. Bro's been only eating mushrooms. Watching? The ladies can fish and get their hands dirty? But he can't? What the fuck? Net. Maybe someone has a skill. Okay, she has a powerful ability. She's like some corner like electric lightning god and she's just gonna taze the entire river. Hey. Hey. That's fucked up. Power is sick. Bruh, what the hell? Uh-huh. That packing skill, man. That packing skill is so versatile. It's actually probably one of the most OP skills. There's so many bullshit you can do with this. Like, he just literally packed around that thing and used it for himself. I, I thought that he was going to keep this like a permanent source of power or something. Wait. I got lightning magic now. Okay. Cool. Packs magic into various things for a wide range of effects. Look at that fucking description. Bro, packs magic into various things for a wide range of effects. It is the most nothing burger description that is so vague and abstract. It can do anything. He can literally just learn other people's magic now. Other people are fixed on one single thing. This dude can basically copy anybody. Yeah, packing is OP. I mean, it says master of none. So I guess like even if you copy a lot, you'll never be a master. You won't be highly proficient at one specific thing. But being a jack of all trades might not be such a bad thing here with packing. Yeah, then you can copy them now. The gals. Wet t-shirt. Let's go to town. Let's see other people in this world. Hunt down. I want the gals and the otaku group to just like get along. Is there... How many gals are there? There might be more than three. Because we saw a gal like A. And then it skipped like B and C and went to D and E. Is there five otakus and five gals? Imagine there's a match for each one and all the nerds gets one, like, gal for them. That'd be hype. This is another world. Coaching time. Something about this is funny. They're just saying their levels, but it sounds like they're saying their fucking age. <laughs> okay. So in terms of like raw potential and power, they have it. But they don't know how to utilize it because they're just such normies. We're level 7, but we're obviously clever with our power, so... These girls, I think, can be very, very powerful tools if we know how to utilize them. They just have no, like, survival skills. There's a lot of cat ears here. Do you see this shit? The cat ears there? And there's still cat ears here, too. I think we're surrounded by a bunch of cat girls. Oh, it says cobalt. <laughs> Let's see your powers. Let's 
They don't know how to fight for shit either? How did you lose the bunch of kobolds with their OP powers and levels? <laughs> They're useless! All those powerful skills and levels just wasted on these girls, bro. They have no hand-eye coordination. All of them can't fight for shit. Not even the gals? There's not one athletic person? Alright. There's no personal space anymore. Okay, round two. It's that girl again. So. この子を襲う。ごめんなさい。あ、あなたを試してました。テスト。私クラスの男子たちに。あなたも私たちを襲うんじゃないかって。So so, so so she intentionally crawled on all fours and made a lot of like sexual innuendos to test if he was going to be a shitty person because she got traumatized because the delinquents did that to her. Kind of weird, but okay, I get it. <gasps> Guys, be nice to her. I think she's a little slow. Oh. She's definitely stupid, but she's so charming. I gotta think for stupid she, She's just very soft, okay? She's a bit of an airhead. She has good intentions. I appreciate that quality about her. She's a little slow. Don't make fun of her, okay? Okay. Fish girl. None of these girls are gonna actually have names, bro. He's gonna just nickname them. Let's see. It. They're determined, though. Okay. Goblins, oh no! <laughs> gal leader flip. The Dude, the I thought that Gal might be one of the most courageous and brave and like, you know, assertive ones, but she immediately bailed. What the fuck? She immediately ran away! How are you losing this easily? Use your special powers! Why are you fucking going in there just going like this, bro? I just saw you fucking shoot an electric lightning bolt in the water! What are you doing? <laughs> the one on the left is just taunting with this ass! Come and get me! Come and get me! <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going like this. Shit's hilarious. Like nothing is happening in terms of like plot progression. What the fuck are we? We're just chilling, right? We're literally just chilling and just doing random shit in this isekai world. But it's fucking hilarious. Useless. Lies. Lies. Fish girl! Gal? Nice kick? No single penetration or slices have ever made. No blood loss, no nothing. I love how all the fights are just like casual, right? They're just all getting just flown away. We'll see you next time. You know, even though we have fucking spears and fucking axes we're using, there's, there's no violence. No gore, no blood. Honestly, I prefer it like this, you know? No gore, no violence, just like... Team Rocket flying away again, it just kind of maintains this chill attitude, right, about this show. Congratulations! Class Rep, you didn't even fight! Yay! Yay! Cobalt? What the fuck is this, bro? Main character saying the villain that, hey, we should do this again next time. Bro, this is a battle shonen. What the hell? The kobolds are cute? You wanna keep them? I mean, we could just subjugate the kobolds and they could be like the pets for the girls, I guess. 
これでようやく気ままなぼっちライフに戻れえん俺は一緒に行くだなんて言うのに。俺は一緒に行くのに。俺は一緒に行くのに。俺は一緒に行くのに。俺は一緒に行くのに。俺は一緒に行くのに。俺は一緒に行くのに。俺は一緒に行くのに。俺は一緒に行くのに。俺は一緒に行くのに。俺は一緒に行くのに。俺は一緒に行くのに。Are we coming? I wonder if there's actually laundry over in the town. You know what? The class rep today? She was more of a leader. I know that she didn't get involved in the fight, but I don't think she's supposed to be the one fighting. Even though she was just kind of all over the place in the, in the beginning, by the end of the episode, you know, we, she rallied the girls up, beat the kobolds, training, cheered everyone up. This is looking more like a leader now. Uh oh. Is that a flag? Uh oh. Maybe that was a flag? The otaku! Is this otaku? I can't tell. Who's hunting you down? The delinquents? What the hell? Is he just gonna die? <laughs> That's a classmate, though. It's not a random person. He's got a yellow tie. There's a hooded rogue classmate that's going out looking for a dude with some kind of skill. I have no skill like that. The dude doesn't care, chokes him out. We have some, like, I don't know if the handprints are gonna remain when we see him again, but he has a yellow tie. So this is gonna be like the antagonist for the focus for、uh, the future. Did he actually die, I wonder? Or did he just like not,、uh, choke him unconscious? And that is today's episode of Lore and Life in Another World and another just chill fun episode. Like, there is, like, what is the overarching plot? We're trying to get to the city right now, right? But in order to do that, we need to train these girls up and it's fun. It's just like, I don't know how to explain it. We're just having fun. The girls are around, they raid her mansion, they're all stupid and they don't know how to use her skills. They learn, and the girl knows how to fucking fish by using a lightning bolt. We learn about how OP her packing skills are. They get defeated by kobolds multiple times, but they're like, no, we're not gonna lose. The kobolds are like taunting and having fun. And after we beat them, we have this like shonen main protagonist, you know, aura of like, hey, next time we'll have a better match. It's just like. I love the overall feel and the vibe of Lone Life in Another World. It's, it's really fun. And it's looking like we're gonna get a little bit serious. There's a, there's a dude that's going around and killing different classmates. He has the same tie, so I guess it doesn't really help, right? Everyone seems to have the yellow tie, so it's not really like a good indicator of like who this guy could be. But keep an eye out for him. He's hunting down people looking for a specific skill. And that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time. Take care.